All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today we're talking about user profiles, or at least the profile information that is publicly available to anybody on Discord that encounters various members, either who are your friend or who aren't your friend, so on and so forth. So at any time when you're exploring Discord, you can right-click a user and then you can open their profile to get some information about them. This includes things like their connected profiles, where you can then click to go and visit their YouTube, their Twitch, what have you. You can also leave a note that this person has a connected YouTube. Might be cool to check out. And then you can kind of save that for later. You know, you can keep all your personal notes about different users on their profiles because that information is specific to you. No one else can see that. You can see what mutual servers you share with that individual. In this case, I only share my server with them. And then you can see if you have any friends in common, although you won't be able to see this information if you aren't friends with them. And you can also send them a message or you can block them by accessing these three little dots over here. You can see that this person's name is Haylock. And then if you wanted to copy and paste their like username for whatever reason, you could do so here. Now, there's a whole host of information that you can see when you right click on somebody. For example, Sly Copper over here. He doesn't have any connected accounts, but I'm on several servers with him. And we also share several different friends. So that's just a good example of some of the information that you can find. Um, this is also really helpful, like say you're just going over inside of your friends list and somebody's got like a pending invite and you're not sure who this person is. You can then, you know, find them and right click them and view their profile and say like, oh, OK, I know this person from this server and this one over here. And we have, you know, these mutual friends in common. And that's an easy way to say like, oh, do I know this person? Because it's not unusual to say like you're on your server and they're called like, you know, Venom right here. But like their actual username outside of the server that you share is actually like Jerry the Starfighter 57 or something, you know, whatever. Then that would allow you to figure out what they're called, why they're messaging you or sending you, you know, a friend invite so that you're not like, you know, paranoidly going like, who is this person? Why are they randomly friending me? And for whatever reason, you know, if you don't want random people to be able to contact you or to friend you, you can right click any server that you're a part of and go to privacy settings and you can toggle off allow direct messages from members on that server. That will make it so that only people on your friends list can send you friend invites and all that stuff. And if you're having problems with people spamming you with certain things, you can then go into the privacy and safety settings in your personal user settings. And you can say, like, I don't want to have any direct messages from server members. And I only want friends of friends to be able to add me as friend or people who are on servers, not just anyone. That tends to make it easier for you to kind of control and see who's trying to friend you, see information on their user profiles, and understand what's going on if you're, say, a server moderator or an admin, or if you're just a random person hopping into random servers because you enjoy that type of community that that server is related to, and you just want to hang out. Uh, another good thing is if somebody's, like, changing their username a whole lot, like, let's say Florida Man here changes their name a lot, I can go to their profile, and I can say... Oh yeah, you can also see what game they're playing if that's available. You can also read their custom status and see their various different badges. But let's say Florida Man, they've been changing their name a lot. This is that Florida... Man... person. They have been changing their name a lot, but I guess that's just their thing, because they haven't tried using it to troll and then you could just change you know save that information and then see that whenever you open their profile in case something happens and you're trying to investigate what's going on on your server so that's how user profiles inside of discord work 
You can control some of that information by adding linked accounts to your profile so that people can click on them and go see that profile on another service. And you can change like your custom status, but other information like who your mutual friends are and all that stuff is not necessarily stuff that you can always control, but some of it you can. In fact, I do believe, let's go to back to privacy and safety. It seems odd to me that you can't disable people who can see who who you have as a friend, which it looks like you can't disable that. But uh, it would be nice because sometimes you don't always want people to be pestering you about who you have as friends on the internet. It can be quite uh, annoying. But that's, that's just the in and out of how profiles work. I hope you found this helpful. I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.